Hello, this is simply about networking protocols and today I'll describe you simple PMSM and DM overview. PMSM initially is described in standard RFC 7761 with additional um, specifications that extending or specifying its functionality in different conditions. And RFC 3973 for PIM DM, again with additional RFC that describing or extending it in different conditions. In this video, I'll remind you about problems related to AP multicast management and will uh, provide overview of how PMSM and DM generally works and what is the difference between them. So, multicast problem. Initially, we would like to have a mechanism to transfer multicast frame, frame from one source to different uh, receivers at the same time, minimizing um, sending the, this packet to destinations where no receivers, uh, multi minimizing multiplication of this uh, packet, and so on and so forth. But initially, with basic multicast functionality, when receiving frame, multi multiplying it and sending to all other uh, directions, uh, we have a problem that multicast frame will be sent towards uh, directions where definitely no receive potential receivers and no receivers at all and in case of uh, having loops uh, between uh, routers uh, like for example r9 will receive same packet from r6 r7 and will try to send two packets to its neighbors and uh, to the following destinations that is problem as well we don't need um, same packet multiple multiplied multiple times sent to the same direction because it will broke the information that is carried in this traffic in this stream we would like and wish to see that packet is multiplied only times we need and sent only to destinations we need uh, broken those loops and all those things. So we have two problems. Problems of sending traffic to unnecessary destination and problem of potential multiplication of the same packet, of the same frame. So ideally we would like to see some topology that avoids sending traffic to unnecessary destinations, knows where to send uh, multicast traffic, where uh, receivers are and sending, multiplying and sending packets and frames only to those destinations. PIM, uh, Project Independent Multicast, is uh, one of the solutions proposed to do this. PIM works in one of two modes. SM and DM, sparse mode and dense mode. Sparse mode, trying to build a topology to actual receivers, so finding actual receivers in the, uh, in the network, building a topology, reminding destination to, to those actual receivers and sending traffic on the other. DM, sending traffic everywhere it's allowed and stop sending to the destinations that refused or that refused to receive it. So this SM first builds a topology and sends only two receivers. DM sends everybody uh, collecting information about those who refused and building topology to send only to those who didn't uh, reject this traffic. How it looks like. We have some source. We have some receivers that wish to receive uh, multicast traffic that is going from this source. And now PIM, SM and DM somehow start working. How they work. 
As you remember from video about multicast itself, there is uh, a thing called rendezvous point. Rendezvous point, this is a, a router that receives multicast traffic as unicast and then start proceeding it as multicast to the further destinations. So between R1 and rendezvous point, traffic goes as unicast. Then PMSM collects information about destinations where uh, actual receivers of this multicast traffic are. It means that first building a topology, DM still does nothing, okay? So we get that topology from source to rendezvous point and from rendezvous point actual tree of routers that somehow co connected to the actual receivers of the multicast traffic and let's traffic run so from r1 to rendezvous point in on pim sm spark mode it goes as unicast it wrapped into unicast frame and goes as unicast PMDM starts sending this traffic as multicast from the beginning. Processing this traffic as multicast from the beginning. Then, DM processing it as multicast from the beginning, so sending everywhere, 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 everywhere it can. SM still processing it to rendezvous point as unicast. After rendezvous point, SM starts processing multicast frame as multicast but it knows the topology and sends it only toward destinations where receivers are dm processing frame as a multicast sends it everywhere except it has a mechanism of broken loops it doesn't send a loops it does it avoids uh, sending traffic back and multiplying unnecessary packets but it sends it to everybody eventually. SM sends uh, frames to only directions where receivers are, and then sending them to everybody, to DM sends frames to everybody, SM sends to receivers only. So we have a topology on SM now, Destinations that don't want to receive this multicast traffic stop refusing receiving it. And PMDM remembering those, remembering this information and building actual topology uh, of sending multicast frames only to the directions that didn't refuse to receive it. So as you can see, mechanism is, uh, final result is similar, mechanism is different. And what is um, the physical meaning under all of that? PMSM spends time on building topology. And once uh, for any reason this connection is broken, uh, if router doesn't receive information that mm, uh, that it should continue sending multicast traffic into some direction, it stops sending this traffic and traffic is not running. So this topology taking time to create and in case of inconsistency blocks the traffic from sending to the destination. This sends traffic to everywhere, collecting refuses and sending only to the destination that doesn't refuse to receive this multicast traffic. And uh, in case, so nothing can happen, nothing bad can happen with receivers, uh, only those destinations that doesn't want to receive it could miss the time of sending, refusal, prune, in uh, in scope of PMDM and start receive unnecessary traffic.
PMSM saves uh, resources and uh, keeps traffic most secret. PMDM saves time and latency, but keeps traffic much less secret. And people using those modes in, uh, in conditions where they need either keep traffic secret and, and not very sensitive to losing part of it during some breakups and DM when traffic is not that secret or we should not uh, interrupt traffic for any reason. That's simple. Thank you. Have a great day.